It's Christmas time and a lot of people have ham for their Christmas dinner. Shoot, a lot of people have ham for Thanksgiving and Easter. And they're all fully cooked, or most of them are fully cooked. But I wanted to step it up a notch. So we're going to do a brown sugar glaze with a little bit of orange juice, smoked in the smoker, adding that extra flavor to make a really different, what I think is better, holiday ham. The preparation for this is really easy. As before, clean hands, clean work surfaces. We want to make sure everything is nice and sanitary. We're going to take our rib rub, which you'll see on the blog. You've seen this before. And we're going to take about, oh, I don't know, a couple of teaspoons. We're going to shake it into about a half a pound uh, to three quarter of a pound of brown sugar. And we're just going to mix it up in a good a, a nice bowl, breaking up any clumps, getting it well mixed. Pretty easy process. We're going to set it aside. The next step is we're going to take some prepared mustard, and this is the sloppy part, and we're going to just get a good dose of it squirt a bunch on there on all sides and we'll take our hands and just rub it down. Rub it down real good, get into all the cavities because this is what's going to hold our brown sugar and rub glaze. And there we go. Let's make sure your hands are good and dry. What we're going to do is reach in and just rub, rub it down with our brown sugar and you can pat it in. Now I'm using a spiral sliced ham so you can really get it down into the cracks. I mean just rub it in really good. Whatever falls off, falls off. Just pack it in there really good and tight. Mustard really will help hold the sugar and the spice mixture. And that's it. We're ready for the smoker. Okay. Got our ham right here. And you can see how it's already starting to turn into a, a glaze from the juices and the mustard mixing with the dry uh, brown sugar and spices. So we got our smoker ready. I'm using hickory. I like hickory wood for almost anything. You can use apple or cherry. And all we're going to do is load it on the middle rack of the smoker. Now we're going to stick our temperature probe right in the middle, being careful not to hit the bone. So we're going to go alongside the bone and we're going to try to achieve, we will achieve 140 degrees. So it's in the smoker. Shut the door. Turn it on 225. And then we're going to check it in about an hour. We want to make sure that we're not burning the glaze, and at that temperature, we probably won't, but we want to make sure. So, 225, got our timer set, I mean our uh, temperature set, and we're ready to go. We're going to do this for about three and a half, four hours, but we're going to do something really special at about two and a half. It's been just about two and a half hours, so now we're going to take our ham out of the smoker, we're going to be very careful. I have gloves on. It's going to be a little hot. We're going to take our temperature probe out and we're going to lift the ham and put it on a double piece of aluminum foil. You can't use too much. Make sure you have enough. Okay, you can see that the spiral slice cuts have started to separate. Now this is the secret part. 
we're going to take orange juice and we're going to spray it all over the ham. You will not believe the flavor that this gives it. We're going to spray it over really good. Get it good and wet. And then we're going to take the rest of our... Now this doesn't really matter if it stays on. I always try to put the rest of my brown sugar on somewhere. Because what this is going to do, when we wrap this up, the, fo the foil is going to hold in the juices. This is right at 90 degrees right now on the inside. So we're going to wrap it up really good and tight. Double layer. You may even want to use a triple layer. You may even want to bring this into three layers, but usually two will do. Now I'm going to take my second piece. We're going to ball it up good and tight. Now we're going to put it back in the smoker at between 200 and 225 for one more hour. Again, remember, our ham is fully cooked. All we're doing is adding flavor. So I'm going to take my temperature probe and stick it back in, not hitting the bone again, and we're going to see if we can reach uh, 140. So we'll leave it here another hour, and those juices and the rest of that brown sugar will mix and will make a gorgeous glaze that we'll baste it with at the end. Here's a quick little dipping sauce you can make if uh, your ham doesn't produce enough juice. You know, some people just like to dip. What I do is start with three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. This is pretty much the same recipe for the glaze and what you actually put on the ham, so it's, it stays consistent. Just a splash of orange juice. A little bit, just a touch of our rib rub, which is on the recipes on the blog. And a dash, just a dash of Worcestershire. And now you just work it together. You can add liquid as you need. But what you want is a nice, thick, smooth, not a paste, but like a thick sauce. As you see, if you keep stirring, you know, just adding enough liquid to, uh, don't add too much or you get runny. You get this really nice brown sauce. And it's got a sweet, spicy flavor to it that goes very well with ham. So that's it. A little quick dipping sauce for your smoked ham. Okay, we have our ham out of the smoker. We've let it rest for 20 minutes. We're going to unwrap it and move it to our platter. And it is, just looks fantastic. Let's get it over here on the platter. Oh. Yep. You can really see how the pieces have separated. And there's all kinds of good stuff in there. Juices. It's very juicy. You can see it running. And we have some juice here that we can baste with in our foil. So I poured the juices out of the foil. I'm going to take a little pastry brush and just brush over the outside. It gives it a nice little shine, nice presentation and the, you know, what's in this in the drippings is just fantastic. I mean, it's got brown sugar, orange juice, and some of those spices from the dry rub. 
Let's see how it tastes. It just pulls right off. My lord. Tender, juicy. Can't beat it. Merry Christmas.